Okay, let's open this thing up. I've already taken it out and run it through its paces, but I'm going to show everybody what we can do here. All right, here we go. All right, red line first and second. This thing doesn't miss a beat. Hi everybody, Jim from County Corvette here. I have a 2005 yellow Z51 six-speed coupe. Not too many of them around. This car is now uh, 17 years old. This one shows really well. It's uh, It's been a second car all of its life. Uh, Two-owner car and got a clean Carfax, no damage. The paint on it is incredible. Not much to say about that. I, I really could only find a couple minor, minor chips in it. Uh, it's got the polished wheels. It's got relatively new Eagles on it. Just inspected uh, last month, fresh mobile and oil change. I've gone through the car, I've put some miles on it, and boy, it's just a sweetheart. It does have an aftermarket exhaust. It's, it's, not, it's not super loud, but uh, it's, it's the type of thing that you have to use your discretion as to whether it works for you or not. It's, it's, it's nice on the highway, um, but does have some, it does have some rumble to it. But overall, the car is just uh, exceptional. It's, uh, you know, it's really well equipped. It does have the head up display, dual zone, AC, uh, navigation. It has uh, floor mats in there that have some yellow uh, binding on them. They're, they're aftermarket. Comes with a beautiful uh, terry cloth cover uh, with a satin exterior. So this car had, you know, really, really good ownership, and everybody who owned this car has taken exceptional care of it. And you know, there's no uh, no problems with the balancer, and just just a great car overall. So we're going to take this thing for a ride. Okay, so it's a really warm day here in Pennsylvania. I think it hit around 87, and this thing was good and hot when I just jumped in it. I had driven it earlier today, but cooled right off. AC is ice cold in here. Everything works as it should. I went through all the buttons and, you know, all the mirror adjustments. Everything works the way it's supposed to in this car. And, you know, that's obviously the way it should be, but uh, not always the case. So as I said, it's got an exhaust system in it. Um, it's basically just the mufflers in there. And it's, it's it's fine. It's not it's not super loud. You know, sometimes you know some of these exhausts, the Billy Boats, and um, even the Corsa Sport, they're just a little too loud for me. Um, I I actually have some tinnitus, as I'm sure a lot of a lot of you guys do. Um, and when you have that, it just you know, when you get into a certain uh, a certain frequency of, of a droning noise, it can really be uh, really be annoying and problematic. So, for me personally, I, I don't quieter is better now. Um, I've subjected my hearing to enough really outrageous noise over the years between um, loud music and firearms. Um, without enough protection or any protection, I, I, I got a little ringing now. But actually, the real damage came from an air compressor that I had near a glass bead cabinet. Funny story, a girl I was dating came to visit me one day, and she was just shaking her head and said, what is wrong with you? I'm like, what are you talking about? She said, you're going to go deaf. Deaf from what? She said, that machine. I said, what? She said, that, that's, that's going to destroy your hearing. And by golly, she uh, she wasn't wrong, um, and I actually started wearing hearing protection after that. Um, but I, uh, because of that, I suffered 30% hearing loss in, a, in my left ear. So, you know, I don't, I'm sure I don't need to lecture anybody on on hearing protection, especially if you're shooting uh, all the time. But anyway, back to the Corvette here. Um, the exhaust is not, you know, it's not outrageous, and. Uh, you know, it's got a nice, a nice sound to it, but 
but not too much. So if I can, if I can uh, enjoy it and it's not problematic, I don't think it's going to be a problem for anybody. Um, it's, a Corvette should have some sound. Uh, and this car, you know, being yellow with a six-speed, uh, the type of person that's going to buy this car, I suspect, wants a little bit of sound. Um, whoever buys this car, you know, if you like yellow, you've got a vibrant personality. And, you know, yellow six-speed, yeah, it's got, it's got to have a little exhaust. So, anyway, if you like this color, I think... I think this car is absolutely uh, a great find. They didn't make a lot of them in this uh, particular color. So you're going to be hard pressed to find, you know, the first year C6 uh, in this condition with this mileage, with these options. And of course, one that's in, in excellent overall condition, you know, like this car. I, I, I was lucky to find this car. Actually, it actually found us uh, through our uh, website where we advertise that we buy cars. Uh, this guy came, he was from about two hours away. Uh, was not a customer, knew of us, but that's, uh, that's how we ended up with it. And believe it or not, the uh, prior selling dealer was actually not far away from us. Uh, Faulkner uh, has a, a lot of stores around and uh, I don't think, I think it ended up at the Westchester store However, however that works out, um, at any rate, uh, you know, the car found us. So, you know, we're known for, you know, paying top dollar for good stuff. And this car certainly, you know, meets every, every part of that criteria. So that's, uh, that's what I can say. But, you know, as I've gone through it and we've done our operations checks, uh, I have not actually detailed the car yet. The car is impeccably clean. We will clean it up a little bit, not, a little bit more here and there. Um, we'll also, you know, do our evaluation. We'll put it up in the air, and uh, we'll take our underside photos, inspect everything. But I'm pretty confident that uh, everything's going to check out. I didn't see any leaks. Uh, just looking under it, and, and obviously, it drives perfectly. So, it's. Uh, it's an exceptional car. So as far as uh, colors do go, I'm curious as to how people uh, would rate the yellow. You know, on a scale of one to 10, where does yellow come in for you? Um, I know it's a color that some people, it's just too, it's too much for a lot of people. And people say that about red too. Uh, oh, you know, love the car, but I just don't want something flashy like that. Um, so I'd be I'd be curious to know that. But yellow pops, man. It's it, it's a it's definitely a look at me color combination, and it's not a feminine color either. Um, yellows, you know, it, it appeals to it appeals to everybody, uh, men and women. You just have to, you know, you have to like bright colors. So anyway, yeah. Please let me know what you think there. Scale of 1 to 10, where does yellow come in? 1 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 5 out of 10. So these head units now, they're still, they're still quite good in terms of how they work. They're very user friendly. In terms of uh, integration and all. I know, you know, a lot of times, and German cars are like that. You know, you get into it and you can't, you can't figure out how to how to operate the radio. But these are very, very user friendly, and uh, it's a decent sound system still overall. So has a nice, yeah, you know, nice overall sound. Navigation, again, easy to use. Still works well. 
you know, personally, I like Waze. Uh, it gives a, a lot more information as to actual road conditions. This has CD player, you know, DVD player. Which, you know, 17 years ago, that was, that was a thing, so. Okay, let's open this thing up. I've already taken it out and run it through its paces, but I'm gonna show everybody what we can do here. All right, here we go. All right, red line, first and second. This thing doesn't miss a beat. Really, really good performing car. I, I, this is a Z51, so it probably has the performance axle. I believe it's a G92 performance axle. Please don't quote me on that. I sometimes get those numbers mixed up, but I believe G92 was for that 2005 year. Uh, but that's what it feels like, is a 342 or so rear. And uh, yeah, it's just, it runs out nice. So, this is a great car in this price range. I, I really just, I don't know of any, any car out there that can offer this kind of performance for, you know, something in the mid 20s. It's just, just an amazing, an amazing value. And this car does not need anything. Mechanically sorted, just turnkey ready to go so I hope if you're looking for something you give this one a shot uh, I don't uh, I don't know what's out there to compete with it really um, the only thing the car I, I can see that it doesn't have is the uh, clear top which that was an option and and, and an easy uh, easy remedy you know, they're out there. But overall, this thing's well equipped, still pretty low mileage and superb condition and just a lot of bang for the buck. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe. We've got new cars coming in all the time. I have a couple great uh, C6s right now and this will add to it. So we have a decent variety. Okay, so thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you're out there soon driving something in, in this beautiful summer weather, like me today, in my yellow C5, C6. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.